Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eric Jasperson, principal of McNary High School. Welcome to McNary's 57th commencement exercise. On behalf of our district, the Salem-Kaiser School Board, and the school's students and faculty, it is my pleasure to welcome parents, family members, and friends of the class of 2022. Today, we will have multiple ceremonies in order to accommodate as many guests as possible for our graduates. Because of this, at the end of this ceremony, we ask that you please exit quickly and safely as we prepare for our next ceremony. When we walk our graduates out of the gymnasium, we ask that you meet your graduate out in the parking lot and exit the facility. We need your help in getting our parking lot emptied so that we can have our next and next and next session. <laughs> Would everyone in attendance please join our graduates in the standing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, but not graduates, please remove your hats. Please be seated. Before we begin today's ceremony, I would like to ask for your assistance with the program. At McNary High School, we are very proud of the dignity and seriousness for which we conduct our graduation. In order to make this ceremony enjoyable and respectful for all families, please silence your cell phone so that our graduation is uninterrupted. Help us demonstrate that today's event marks a joyful but serious milestone in the lives of the graduates and the lives of our families. We want to enjoy this afternoon by honoring the efforts of our students in a way that shows respect for them, their families, and our school. Today's proceedings are being filmed by Capital Community Media and can be viewed on the local access channel. Please consult your TV listings for times and for dates. Earlier, or each year, rather, I look back to the scripts. We've got a big script right here. I'll look back to the big scripts of previous commencements, and I use that as a reference. Usually I'll go back a couple years because that typically most aligns with what we're trying to replicate. In 2020, we actually had two scripts uh, to prepare for. One was for a virtual ceremony, which thankfully we never did. And the second was for an in-person ceremony, which we repeated seven times in August instead of in June. So last night, I had intended on saying that fortunately, the planning for this year's event was going to be significantly less tricky than in both the 2020 and the 2021 ceremonies. But as the weather forecast went from intermittent showers to the potential for, and I quote, an atmospheric river with windy conditions, we decided uh, to maintain the somewhat new tradition of keeping the planning of this ceremony as tricky as possible by moving everything from inside the stadium to the gym this morning. So we got her done. You're welcome.
Years from now, I will look back uh, at today's event and I will think of this specific graduating class that entered into high school under normal circumstances, went through a two-year storm, much like what we're going to have this afternoon, but then left our campus because of those experiences, smarter, stronger, and more resilient than anyone could ever hope for. I'm proud of this class. They've been through a lot, and they've come out the other side, uh, very, uh, and they should be very proud of themselves. Today, we're honored to have some very special guests participating with the administrators in these commencement exercises. First, I'm pleased to present to you our superintendent, Mrs. Christy Perry. The Director of Elementary Schools, Mrs. Heidi Litchfield. And our School Board Director, Mrs. Danielle Bethel. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge uh, and thank the tremendous efforts of our graduation committee for putting together today's event and then redoing it again this morning. Uh, these people have been tremendous and have helped make this event run seamlessly. Todd Layton, Ashley Gruber, Lexi Johnson, Jim Litchfield, Andy Thomas, Kren Jackson, Heidi Tavares, Dan Borson, Elizabeth Herring, Senior Master Sergeant Stephen Hammond, uh, Master Sergeant Javier Martin Venus, our Junior ROTC Cadets, Security Staff, and the Kaiser Police Department. It took a big team effort, and we appreciate all of them for their efforts. Let's give them a round of applause. I should add uh, that there was also countless other students and faculty members that stepped in when we did make the, uh, make the change of the venue, and uh, too, too many to, uh, to recall, but it was a team effort today. At this time, it is now my pleasure to introduce our ASV president, Lisa Hong. I'm excited to have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker. This year's keynote speaker came to McNary four years ago, as we did. Ever since, she has made countless impacts on our lives. She is always dependable and trustworthy, especially when you need someone to talk to, ask about important school information, and anything about history. These past four years, many of us have witnessed her selflessness and ultimately know that we would undoubtedly, she would undoubtedly help anybody that is in need. Without her help, Oh gosh. Without her help, a handful of us would not be able to walk today. She has made many sacrifices for our class as she continues to contribute and become an influential part of our community as well as our lives. She always strives for excellence as she supports and pushes us to be greater. Without further ado, our keynote speaker for the class of 2022, Ms. Lexi Johnson. Thank you for the kind words. Hello, friends and family of the class of 2022. I stand before you honored to have been chosen for this position, and when I, when I initially pondered what I would say in front of a thousand people that sit proudly before their child, grandchild, sibling, family member, student, or friend, I decided that statement would be, they have faced what few else have and persevered. I continued to think as I wrote this speech that many use this time to dispense life lessons and words of wisdom, and while I will say something along those lines, I want to share with you what lessons that I learned from you and I now know. You are a class of students that will make change in this world. Your ferocious spirit, your vibrancy, and your intensity, with your, paired with your intelligence and problem solving, will take you far in life. Remember these attributes of yourselves and be your own best cheerleader. You are a class of students that will persevere and prevail. Faced with tremendous challenges, you returned from distance learning to show your younger peers exactly what McNary school spirit is about. Yet school spirit is more than just face paint at a game or cheering for our athletes, actors, artists, and scholars. It's about creating an environment in the halls of McNary that is worthy of emulation. Your positivity and your animated attitude will echo through the halls of McNary as a legacy that you all helped create. You are a class of students that will realize high school is just a bubble waiting to burst. 
High school is unique in that you are forced into crowded hallways, classrooms with peers that you see daily. Upon your graduation, that bubble bursts, and suddenly the crowded hallway dissipates, and you have the freedom of independence to choose for yourself who enters your world on a regular basis. You are now quite literally choosing your own adventure story. Paths on your adventure will lead different directions than those you have spent the last four, if not more, years with. But those paths, your adventures, they may or may not cross again. But you and only you have the power to choose where you go on your way. You will emerge from McNary and will take on the world one day at a time. Sometimes your steps forward will be a shuffle, some will be a stride, but above all else, you will continue to progress. Even when steps feel backward or stagnant, remember to be your own best cheerleader. You are a class of students that will remember who you are and what you represent. No longer in the walls of McNary, your character will echo throughout the communities and areas you are in. The way you carry yourself, your actions, your words, will all represent you and your values. Your actions will speak the volume of your character, so remember that the way you carry yourself and the way you treat others are likewise the way people see you. Ustedes son una clase de estudiantes que pueden hacer todas las cosas en el mundo. Ha creado oportunidades para usted durante su tiempo en McNary. Tus habilidades y destrezas te llevarán lejos en la vida y estar a la altura del desafío de asistir y tener éxito en una escuela que no es tu primer idioma muestra más fortaleza que la mayoría um, que este mundo, en este mundo. Todos ustedes cambiarán esta ciudad, este estado y este país. And a quick translation if you needed it. Uh, you're a class of students who can do all things in this world. You have created opportunities for yourself throughout your time at McNary, and your abilities and skills will take you far in life. And to rise to the challenge of attending and succeeding at a school and not your first language shows more strength than many in this world. You will change this city, this state, and this country. So congratulations as you enter your next chapter. To your family members, your friends, your support system along the way, but most importantly, congratulations to you your efforts, your energy, and your work ethic fueled you and got you across this graduation stage. So go forth into the world, be your own best cheerleader, and always remember who you are and what you represent. It is now my pleasure to introduce our senior speaker. She has remained involved at McNary High School in both leadership and AVID while being an active member in the community. It is my honor to present our student speaker for the class of 2022, Ms. Mariah Benitez. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. My name is Mariah Benitez and I am honored to stand before you. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who made this day possible on behalf of the senior class. Thank you to the teachers and the staff that gave their all every day in laboring to provide us with a tremendous education and who pushed us even on the days we did not want to learn. Thank you administrators for the oversight you bring to the school and for making tough calls when needed. Thank you to the families who, that are representing the senior class whose support, sacrifice, and dedication has not been overlooked. And finally, thank you to the insane amount of Red Bulls that got us through this final year and through our horrible senioritis. But most importantly, I want to congratulate and thank the McNary Celtics in front of me. We have all worked hard over the past four years to walk across our stage and tell our families we did it. 13 years really did fly by. We went from being incredible finger painters to being the right, best Rice Krispie chefs in middle school to now being high school graduates. I mean, there were definitely some bumps and falls in the midst of the road, but we all got up and kept going. Starting out as kids, all we ever wanted to do was grow up. But being with you all here today makes me want it all just to slow down for a bit. 
Our high school experience was not like any other generations. Sure, we had the Friday night football games and prom, but we've survived one of the most historic events in our century. Now, for the fact that we are able to gather here together shows that we made it out. Even if we had to stare at 28 muted black boxes for two days a week to continue both of half our sophomore and junior years, we still made it. We showed resilience and perseverance while still embracing our failures because let's all be honest, we all didn't get straight A's during this time. <laughs> we missed out on the important years of high school. These were where we truly start to understand where we want to go in life and who we want to be. I am just glad that we stuck it out and adapted to being individually motivated as one of, and as one of the great teachers here would say, we remembered who we are and what we represent. Although teachers and staff tried to motivate us as much as they could, asking for help was always hard to do. Well, at least for me, I saw it as a weakness. One thing about maturing is realizing that it is not a weakness to ask for help, but more of a strength. McNary has taught me how to become the master of Quizlet and SparkNotes and learning how to sacrifice sleep all-nighters and all-nighters that we pulled to write the paper we had two weeks to plan for. One thing we learned is to utilize hope as a means for growth. I am a strong believer that everything happens for a reason. We may not understand or have answers for it all, but that's okay. Life will always be a roller coaster. As we all embark on our individual journeys, remember that your success isn't defined by the opportunities you were given. It is defined by what you make out of the opportunities you have had. We are all on different paths and on, and on different times, so let's not compare ourselves to anyone in life. Someone graduated at the age of 22, but waited five years before securing a good job. Someone became a CEO at 25 and died at 50, while another became a CEO at 50 and lived till 90. Someone is still single, while someone from his high school group has become a grandparent. Obama retired at 55, and Trump started at 70. Everyone in this world works based on their own time zone. People around you might seem ahead of you, and some might be, seem to be behind you, but everyone is running their own race in their own time. Do not envy them. They are in their own time zone and you are in yours. So relax, you're not late, you're not early. We are very much on time. Class of 2022, the thing about new beginnings is that something needs to end. For us, we are saying goodbye to our awkward phase of being high schoolers and welcoming the new chapters in our life. But we are not done yet. We have just started. Good luck guys, you're gonna need it. Thank you. Let's give them another round of applause for those great speeches. Thank you. Now at this time, uh, we are going to be honoring our salutatorians and valedictorians. Uh, looks like we've got uh, our kids all lined up. So at this time, can we have our salutatorians please join, me, join us on stage? These two outstanding students embody an impressive breadth of knowledge and skill. These kids have demonstrated a strong dedication to academic success and have made us tremendously proud. This afternoon, we recognize them, we recognize these two who have pursued a, a demanding course of study with only a single B in all coursework during eight semesters of high school. As I read your name, would you please step forward to be recognized? Hannah Cooper. <laughs> Tayson Wetton. Congratulations to both of you. Please have a seat. In this session, we have five scholars from the class of 22 serving as co-valedictorians. Would you please come to the stage? We will be announcing the other co-valedictorians in the later sessions. 
These students standing in front of us have pursued a rigorous course of study while maintaining a perfect 4.0 in eight semesters of high school. As I read your name, would you please step forward to be recognized? Caitlin Dennison. <laughs> Taya McCray Smith. <laughs> Taishan Nguyen. Sydney Smith. Benjamin Stanley. Scholars, would you please have a seat? We are about ready to uh, have the passing of the diplomas, but before we begin, I'd like to remind you that this class has been hit harder with a loss of classmates than ever before. In memory of the three students that have passed away, we will read their names during the awarding of the diplomas. Caps and gowns have been placed on three chairs in memory of them. We are now at the part of the ceremony in which we've all been waiting for, the presentation of the diplomas to the graduating seniors of McNary's class of 2022. At this time, I would like to have our first reader come up, Ms. Dawn Reikley Balon. Mohammed Al Adali. Dayanara Rios Barnell. Alejandra Zaragoza Lopez. Andrea Olson. Aubrey Donovan. Avery Nelson. <laughs> Taya McCray. <laughs> Brianna Bennett. Brianna Ramirez Chavez. <laughs> Carlos Sanchez Chavez. <laughs> Daisy Liner. Deleth Santiago. Yeah. 
Esmeralda Alvarado Hernandez. Martin Pineda Martinez. Damon Caps. Emma Graven. Gavin Isley. Grayson Suarez. Ivan Duarte Rosas. Jagger Ledbetter. Jade Gardner. <laughs> Jesus Marina Ochoa. <laughs> Joanna Lopez Ortiz. <laughs> Logan Brown. Madison Dyer. <laughs> Riley Holt. Sierra Baldwin. Juliana Hernandez Contreras. Tyson Patton. Our next reader is Mrs. Laura Reed. Angela Bakanov. Peyton Wiscarson. <laughs> Chloe Pendleton. <laughs> Benjamin Anderson. <laughs> Tyson Nguyen. Caleb McCoy. <laughs> Tayson Wetton. <laughs> Jeremiah Ratliff. <laughs> Spencer Millis. Caleb Carroll. Jaden Rhines. Benjamin Stanley. Sydney Smith. Lauren Contois. Woo! 
Chelsea Ramirez Hernandez. Brenda Garcia. Olivia Mendez. Tanner Daniels. Nicholas Michael. Eben Mayer. Palmer Snap. Nelson Torres. Jacob Nelson. Sharice Edward. Christian Garcia Duran. Ethan Davis. Jordan Cruz. Daniel Olvera Chimal. Nancy Olvera Chimal. Amare Slane. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Lewis Tiller. Alejandro Castellano. Adriana Corella. <laughs> Hannah Cooper. <laughs> Christopher Luscombe. <laughs> Xander Rhodes. Bella Zepeda McCarthy. Jasmine Hamill. Kylie Jefferson. Melanie Robles Cortez. Jasmine Garibay Cortez. Alexis Chavez. Chloe Wellard. Jordan Orr. Tegan Goodwin Anderson. Jamar Johnson. Sean Dunn.
Cameron Gust. Maya Bladesell Wood. Callista Oaks. Avonlea Gonzalez. Delfino Galicia Gomez. Wanda Ariaga Rodriguez. Hugo Espinoza Diaz. Luis Correa Delgado. Jacob Morse. <laughs> Leslie Escudero. <laughs> Landon Laris. Ruben Fuentes. <laughs> Kalel Hill. Caden <laughs> Lee. And it's my pleasure to welcome to the stage Mr. Tom Cavanaugh. David Reitz. Sean Stokes. Nadia, Nadia Chacon Campos. Ian Basler. Ali Ferragrino. Eric Gonzalez Diaz. Rudy Garcia. Abram Arandando Ortega. Alex Estrada. Samantha Thomas. Caitlin Dennison. Antoinette Johnson. Deanna Gonzalez Martinez. Madison Fisher. Caden Berry. Jared Garibay Perez. Roberto Gonzalez Sanchez.
Tegan Harrison. Hannah Yapel. Elijah Hernandez. Viola Kruchek. Lionel Savala. Hector Serratos Rojas. Anchal Boss. And it is my pleasure to pass it back to Mr. Jesperson. Will Maria, Mariah, sorry, will Mariah and Lisa please come to the podium? Graduates, please rise. To, to mark our graduation from high school as the symbol of our achievements, we will now move our graduation tassels from the right hand side of our mortar boards to the left side. Congratulations! Graduates, we congratulate you on your accomplishments, and guests, we thank you for being here today and supporting these kids. You, shimo, you showed tremendous resilience and perseverance. Now we need to ask for your help as, we, uh, as I give you a few directions on how to exit. At this time, graduates, please follow Mr. Borson and Mr. Litchfield as you exit the gymnasium at this time. Because we have to prepare for another ceremony, we ask that families move quickly to the exits and meet your graduates just outside in the parking lot where we, and then we can get ready for our next ceremony. Thank you everyone for your help and patience. Graduates, we thank you for your legacy to Minary High School. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>